In Uganda, the Minister of Information, Communications, Technology and National Guidance says travel bans imposed by Western countries against African countries are unfortunate. Dr. Chris Bariamunsi, an epidemiologist and public health expert, says travel restrictions imposed on African countries are not based on science. His comments come after wealthy nations impose travel restrictions on some African states. The move follows the announcement by South African authorities that the Omicron variant of COVID had been discovered in the country. Critics say it is typical of the Western approach towards Africa throughout the pandemic, including the hoarding of vaccines and other preventive measures to fight the disease. But supporters of the travel restrictions say it gives Western countries time to study the new variant and implement measures to contain it. For more reaction to the travel restrictions and Uganda's efforts to limit the spread of the coronavirus, I reached Dr. Chris Bayamunsi via Skype. With the Ugandan uh, government implementing strategies and medical measures to contain the disease. What is the progress report in the fight to contain the coronavirus in Uganda at the moment? Because I understand there were certain uh, measures that were implemented, including local remedies, among other issues. Yes, we've made progress. You know, we are among the countries which were hit hard by this COVID-19. But initially, we mounted lockdowns and other restrictive measures at the height of the second wave, which we experienced between May, June, July this year, we registered very high positivity rates. Our positivity rate was as high as 21%, but we have since then had a successful response to the extent that we are now registering positivity rates of less than 1%, and the, the situation has improved. And we are opening the space. We had closed schools. We are now going to open them. Uh, we have, like I said earlier on, uh, subjected every incoming traveler to mandatory testing for COVID-19. So the situation has greatly improved. Right now, we have a huge campaign to vaccinate all those eligible Ugandans. We have made provision for enough resources to bring in vaccines, but the donations which we are receiving, now we have enough vaccines to vaccinate everybody who is above 18 years. So now the campaign which is on in Uganda is to mobilize Ugandans to embrace vaccination. We have vaccinated up to 6% of the population, but going forward, we, so going forward, we think in the next like two or three months, we should be able to have vaccinated a substantial proportion of our people, and then we can open fully our economy and the space in Uganda. Talking about vaccination, what is the cooperation between Uganda and its neighbors? Uh, you know, with a common strategy to contain the disease and vaccinate people, educate people not to engage in vaccine apathy and then having enough resources of the vaccines available uh, for the arms of Ugandans and East Africans, if I may. Yes, we have collaborative activities within the East African community, Kenya, Tanzania, Rwanda, South Sudan, uh, the, neighboring, uh, the neighboring countries. We are collaborating on messages, on mobilizing the people, but also on procurement for vaccines. So there is that strong collaboration. And also we do some of these procurements through African Union. So there is a collaboration and we are speaking together and speaking the same language across East African sub-region. So what assurances are you giving the people of Uganda and for those who will be visiting Uganda about the measures that are being implemented to contain or limit the spread of the coronavirus and that when they come or visit Uganda, they might not run into problems of getting easily uh, infected with the coronavirus and its variants in Uganda? Yes, the assurance that we give our listeners and viewers is that the we have managed to contain the COVID-19. There is no reason whatsoever why anybody would fear or should fear to come to this country. We continue to promote public health prevention measures like putting on masks, hand washing, uh, or using a sanitizer, uh, avoiding congregations, and ensuring there is physical distancing. Vaccination drive is on, and uh, we test everybody who comes into the country without inconveniencing the, part, the, the person, because when you test, we allow you to proceed to your hotel, and then the results follow you. If you test positive, you are managed by our professionals. So we are 
managing very well. And uh, the tourism industry has since come back. We are getting travelers from all over the country, and therefore we want to assure the world that nobody should change his or her itinerary when he's uh, coming to the country because the risk has been tremendously reduced. You can come to Uganda, cut out your business without a very big risk of catching COVID-19. Dr. Chris Bayomunsi is the Ugandan Minister of Information, Communications, Technology and National Guidance and an epidemiologist and public health expert. He spoke with me from the Ugandan capital, Kampala.